Hello and welcome to another Thai Guy video. If you would please hit the like button, even if you don't like the video, it helps let other users know that my video is out. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. If you like college football, um, you'll like my channel as I do videos. And also we'll be doing call-in shows to talk about college football. Today's video is going to be about the Big 12. It was announced that both ESPN and Fox are going to start early negotiation for their TV contract, which in a way could kind of hurt the Pac-12 because the Pac-12 had the advantage of negotiating their contract right now and the Big 12 happened to wait a year. But now that the Big 12 is able to negotiate their contract, everybody will know what their deal is worth. Now I know a lot of people out there are really excited. Now I know the big deal is that, you know, everybody's going to know what both of the contracts are worth. I really do believe, though, there's a lot of people out there saying, well, you know, the Big 12 is going to be worth $45 million, and then they're going to find out, well, we add this team, it'll add us to $55 million. this team will add us, you know, where it'll add us. But I think they're not really thinking clearly, because if you stop and think about this, let's say, for argument's sake, that the Big 12 is worth $45 million per team. Now, there's 12 teams. So, in order for a team to move it up to the next level of the 55 million, let's say Utah, to move it up to the 55 million, that means that they're they would have to make 45 million for themselves to just break even. And then to move it up another 10 million because Utah would be the 13th team. And the pie is going to be cut in 14th places because what a lot of people aren't considering is, let's see the contract, 10 teams is worth 400 million. Everybody says, well, that's 40 million a year per team. It's not because the conference has to make their share. So however many teams are in a conference, then that conference usually gets its own share. So instead of dividing by 10, you divide by 11. So with using those numbers for a team like Utah to make it beneficial for the money-wise for the Big 12, they not only have to make the 45 million that the other teams will get, and then to add it up 10 million, then that means it's gonna have to be another $140 million in order for everybody to go up 10 million. And now think about this. If a team is worth that much money, the Big 10 would have already taken. And so any of the teams that the Big 12 are looking for in the pack, in the the from the Pac-12, is not going to raise the monetary value of the Big 12 like people are thinking. Um, it, it just, in that case, the Big 10 would swoop in and take them. So the other thing this is going to do is with the negotiations coming early, now you're looking at Texas and Oklahoma uh, getting out of the Big 12 earlier. So maybe that the money that they were getting will be even a little less for the first year or two. I really don't see the Big 12 making that much more than the Pac-12 as long as the Pac-12 stays together with the 10 brands that they have. If you look at the 10 brands that the Pac-12 has compared to the 12 brands that the Big 12 has, who really makes the money? Um, who bring, who would, you know, TV, revenue who brings it in if you look at oregon and you look at washington you know those are much better brands than um what you have in the big 12. the big 12 right now has two let's say two and a half brands um and, and the way i come up with two and a half is one you got west virginia west virginia is a top 25 all-time wins team since 1981 they have almost as many wins as oregon so you can kind of say that that brand is up there. Oklahoma State is another one. They are a good brand. And Baylor is starting to rise to that level. Baylor not only gives you the football, but they also give you the basketball, which is, uh, I know basketball doesn't move the needle a whole lot, but it's nice that they can you know provide both football, like last year they went to the Sugar Bowl, and the year before they won a national championship in basketball so that'll help them but unfortunately those brands i don't believe make as much uh tv revenue impact as your washington your oregon even stanford 
So as far as the Big 12 making, you know, let's say 10 million more than the Pac-12, I, I don't see it. And think if the difference is only $5 million. Let's say the Big 12 is 40 million, and let's say the Pac-12 is 35 million. Now, if you're in Arizona, an Arizona State, a Colorado, or a Utah, is it in your best interest to leave a conference that you've been in? Utah and Colorado, they come late. You know, they've only been there 10 years. And Arizona schools, you know, they've been there just under 50 years. But is it in your best interest to leave that conference to go to the Big 12 when you're only gonna gain $5 million? And for some of those schools, the travel costs are going to go up significantly. I, kn I know most people look at it as football only, but you got to think of the other sports. Baseball, basketball, is it in their best interest to be traveling all that way for $5 million? And plus, you have to think that the Pac-12 is known for its, you know, academics. And do you give up the prestigious academics to go into the Big 12 for $5 million? I, I don't think the answer is yes. I, I really think it's no. I don't see the Pac-12 wanting to move for, you know, $5 million. So that's another thing to keep an eye on. Uh, it will be interesting to see, though, what the numbers are from ESPN and Fox. How much money is Fox really going to look into putting into the Big 12 after they kicked in towards the $7.5 billion of the Big 10? Now, I know Fox isn't hurting for money, and I know Fox has money, but... There's other things going on down the road with Fox. You know, they're gonna be looking at putting a big bid in for the playoffs. How much TV space does Fox have? CBS doesn't have any. NBC now doesn't have any since they signed with the Big Ten. So you're stuck with the Big 12 or the Big 12 going with Fox and ESPN. And I just don't know how much money Fox is willing to put in to a Big 12 especially if the Big 12, you know, doesn't have a Pac-12 because that's about the only time slot Fox has available would be, you know, the late night. And I know ESPN is looking for the late night since right now they don't have the Pac-12. So that, you know, will help the Pac-12 with their numbers. If you would, please leave comments in the section and let me know what you think of my video. Let me know what you think I did wrong. Let me know what I did right. Um, tell me what your take is. Do you believe that any of the Pac-12 schools would elevate the Big 12 where it would keep them with the same amount of money and then raise them up 5 to $10 million? I, I just don't see it. I, I really don't. And as always, roll tide.